So we're in front of Sean Graham Musgob, so let's talk to her. And we'll give her that skull we collected. Very good, I'll just take that skull for you. Perfect for what I have in mind. Thank you. Now, as promised, I'll answer your questions. So let's ask her about the Nerevarine cult. Sashlander cult believes a long dead hero, Nerevar, will be reborn to honor ancient promises to the tribes. According to legend, the prophesied Nerevarine will cast down the false gods of the tribunal temple. Restore the traditional ancestor worship practiced by the Ashlanders and drive all Outlanders from Morrowind. Both Temple and Empire outlaw the cult, but it persists among Ashlanders who care little for Imperial or Temple law. Here. So take this copy of my notes on the topic for Kiers. So I've got the details. I've already been told about the cult which appears to be some people who believe in these prophecies. Ashlander culture honours dream visions and prophecy unlike temple and western cults which regard visions and prophecies as primitive superstition. Wise women interpret dreams and visions and pass them on to succeeding genera generations. The most common version of the Nerevarine prophecy is the stranger. Did you know that Nerevar was known to possess a magical ring named one clan under the moon and star? Nerevar swore his promise to honour ancient Ashlander traditions and land rights on this magical ring. Okay. Then I guess that's the land rights that was originally promised to the Ashlanders, but who the Imperials and the Great Houses stole from them. Nerevar is a first age hero of the Dunmar people. He's a great and general and lead great general and leader. He helped form the First Council, unite the Dunmar houses against foreign invaders, aided by the traitors of House Dagoth. He triumphed over Morrowind's enemies at Red Mountain but died in battle. Who's Peak Star? The most recent case of a person claiming to be the Neverine is a girl child named Peak Star. After a long period of searching for her, the ordinators recently reported that Peak Star is dead. That may be true, but I haven't heard the sample has offered any convincing proof that she's dead. So who is she? She's obviously someone else who thinks that she's the uh, Nerevar and the Emperor, Emperor thinks that I am, or she's why he sent me on this mission. So let's have a look at these notes that I've been given by that necromancer orc. Okay, here we are, and what it says is uh, Ashlander cult follows prophecies of Nerevar, reborn to honor ancient promises, cast down the false gods, and drive all outlanders from Morrowind. So it's pretty much exactly the same thing as she was talking about. Uh, so let's complete the mission and give this away. After this, I think there's a quick skip to head to Vivek. Although it's a very scenic route of getting there, I'm not entirely sure of whether I'll end up. Fa oh, I probably will fast travel there because it's. Although it's scenic, it, it takes a long time and it means that I have to load quite a few cells, which is very buggy. There's a couple of ways to get to Vivek. You can either take the Silt Strider or, which I haven't done yet, you can take the instant transportation service. That actually costs a little bit more gold. That's Are you matters. here to discuss your orders or is there something else you want? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's discuss orders. And these are Sharn's notes on the Nerevering cult? Excellent. I'm promoting you to Blade's Apprentice. I'd like some time to think how this fits in with the Emperor's plans for you. So if you'd like to get a little freelance adventuring, go ahead. Now let's get orders straight away. I don't want to do any freelancing adventuring. I've thought it over, and I want you to interview three informants in Vivic City concerning the Nereverine in the Sixth House. First, I want you to speak to Adirondir, a Khajiit Thieves Guild operative. Second, I want you to speak with Hulia, an Argonian in the Morag Tom. Finally, I want you to speak with Maramila, a 
temple priestess, here. I've written the details now, so you won't forget. And here are 200 drinks, for bribes and other expenses. Okay, what do I get I'm from being an a a apprentice? Rank, effective immediately. And here's a little present, two spell scrolls. The divine intervention will recall you to the nearest imperial shrine, and the alms of the intervention will recall you to the nearest temple. They come in handy for a quick getaway. No, no. No thanks needed. You're doing great work. Now get out of here and let me read. Right, so I've received two transport scrolls. They're not, you can actually buy them at temples and they're extremely useful and not at all expensive. Of course you can enchant, once you actually get good at enchanting, you can enchant a ring to do it. And it's, and in Morrowind originally all your magical items re recharged or regenerated over time. So you didn't actually have to bother with, well you could recharge with soul gems, but it was a bit of a, expensive use of soul gems. You could also in recharge by giving your equipment to a enchanter and they would enchant it using gold. Right, let's go to the silt strider. Actually, I need to dump off a few things. Let's go to Ravia. I'm getting quite well stocked on gold actually, at some point I should start to do some skills training. I don't particularly need to at the moment, I've only got this three informants quest to do and it's, and it's quite easy, there's basically three people I need to find in Vivek, there's a Khajiit who I know to be in one of the sewers, I can't quite remember which sewer he's in and there's someone in the temple district, a priestess, and there's an Argonian in the foreign quarter. Let's sell off some of this stuff. Now it's only two gold I get from that, it's not really worthwhile. Well, we'll save ourselves a lot of weight anyway. And we get a little bit more speechcraft, and that's quite useful. I think those are far more realistic merchant prices, by the way. I know that you in some games you can just oh that was a really fast jump you can actually end up get extremely rich by just selling junk but I don't, I don't like games like that let's go to Vivek, it's only 20 gold so it's handy that I sold off a few mugs and bowls I think we'll find the the Argonian first. Each person, before you speak to them, they've got a little mini quest associated with them. So this quest, this main quest, is basically three mini quests in one. One for each informant that you speak to. And even if you... When I first played this game, when I first played Morrowind, I didn't know anything about this... the... Uh, basically the storyline that was going on behind it. And as you play, well, as you play quite a few games, some people just don't even bother reading the story. And I, and I was like that. I was like, okay, I can't be bothered uh, reading through the story. We'll just rush through it. And I just didn't really know what was going on as I was playing through the game. And naturally, I found the the game not as interesting. This is Vivek, and this is one of the Cantons. And there are plenty of these. I'm just going to save here just in case. We suffer from another crash. So we're in the foreign quarter. And I think this guy, you know, you can get transported to another canton. 
So arena, Harley, and only cost you a very small amount. Or you can walk. Walking is co of course of course an option. All these places are quite empty. When I really kind of got into playing Morrowind, as sad as it sounds, I downloaded loads of mods. Uh, one of the mods increased the population of these places, so you didn't get loads of empty quarters like you do here. Right, is it down here? I wonder. Hang on. Upper Waste Works. I think this is it. Black Shulk Corner Club. So another corner club or bar or pub, whatever you like. I think in one of these I find the Argonia, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh yeah, here we are. Yes, Outlander, I simply wish to go to my friend's bookstore, but these troublesome fools are trying to threaten me. So he wants to go to a bookstore. Sight of a free Argonian offends these racist thugs. It'll tarnish my Morag Tom honour to slay them. I don't want to trouble my friend Sarilis Gomez by fighting in this club. I must go to my friend's bookstore where we can talk to peace. If you have a way of words, perhaps you can talk to him. If you have a way of money, they might be bought. Otherwise, there might be bloodshed. Right, so I need to escort this guy. Let's travel together. Okay, just wait there for now. Let's talk to these thugs. Well, he's obviously the innkeeper and not the person I want to speak to. You. A filthy lizard. His kind aren't welcome here. He belongs in the swamp with the rest of them. Uh, okay, what do I say? Filthy lizard again? That's not very good. Business. Um, now, I don't want to bribe you. Good day. Well, I, I'm not sure if they'll attack me, otherwise, I will have to fight, I guess. I don't think I've got enough charm to affect them. So, I'm, I think I'll have to risk just leaving now and fighting them later. I don't think that's going to be too much of an issue. If we run outside into one of the guards, maybe they'll help us as well. That was a tactic I used to do in Oblivion all the time. At the moment he's stuck me, got me stuck, sorry, and I can't get out of this conversation where he's not saying anything. Help me, stop talking to me. Well, it depends very much how they've managed to script this, because I'm sure if I try to exit, which I have to, I'm not going to try and bribe them with 200 gold because that's going to well I'd prefer to kill them than give them 200 gold that's go ahead keep talking I'm going to pop your head off and feed it to the filthy lizard right come on, let's go Julia yep let's go You're not going to leave. Well, it looks like the other people won't attack us, which is a good thing, and maybe they were just mouthing off. Is this an ordinator? No.
there's a few jobs that you can get here. Uh, these mini quests that you can do if you if you talk to one of the people in the alchemist store. She t sends you on a hunt for specific gold canets which are near a, a Daedric shrine. She also has got a sort of a thieving mission for you as well. So I've still got Julia with us. Here's an ordinator. Let's go and find his friend. Here's a Khajiit. That's Shabasa. Julia. Julia is here. Okay. Thank you very much. We're free from distraction here. So I want to ask you a few things. Uh, let's ask about the Neverine cult. You haven't got a conversation for it. What do you know about? Well, that's not what I want. Here we are, persecution of the Neverine. The temple treats Neverine prophecies as heresy, and the temple imprisons and executes heretics. Unless prevented by imperial law. Since the Neverine cult is hostile to the Empire, the Empire does not interfere when the temple persecutes the cult. Ashlanders hate the temple, particularly the Ordinators, for their ruthless treatment of Neverine cultists. Let's ask him about the cult. To understand the cult, you must understand the history of the Ashlanders. Nerevar means something very different from the Ashlanders, from to what he means from to the Dunmar, the Great Houses. You should also know about the persecution of the Nerevarine and the legacy of the False Incarnate. For the cult is at the heart of the ancient conflict between the nomadic Ashlanders and the settled Great House Dunmar. Here's a sum summary for Kiyas, but ask your questions and I'll answer in detail. Okay, let's ask him about the cult. I've never heard of such a thing. Six house Dagos was, was the sixth house, but it was destroyed. Uh, okay, I've never heard of anyone worshipping them. Dagatha, the ancient her head of House Dagoth, is a devil of the Tribune of Faith. I've never heard of anyone worshipping him either. Okay. And I've asked him already about this cult. Travel together? Perhaps someday. Okay, so you can't get him as a friend. Let's go. We've, we've completed this quest. There's a... You can save yourself a bit of time by buying... I think it's Vampires 2. For someone. I can't remember. I think that's a Mage's Guild quest, perhaps. Well, at some point you need to return to this book still. I can't remember which book it was now. Let's try and get over this incredibly steep ramp. Give it a run up. Can't believe any... I think everyone would be stuck by this. Okay, I can't get up this ramp. And we will have to do... A collision off thing, otherwise we can't get out. You got very amused by that, didn't you? I couldn't even get out. This is also locked. So I can't get out. Okay. And it's an adept lock as well, and I'm not that good at lock picking, which is annoying. You're joking! Stop locking me in!
I'm going to have to use the console for this as well. And yeah, I really don't know. Yeah, I'll give you five gold. I'll take that as some sort of shakedown. Perhaps it's because it's past nine o'clock that they've locked the door behind me. Right, so the other thing is I've got to go and find. Let's ask um, about the cat. Now I can't remember where the cat is. Well, I'll tell you what, what I'm going to do is I don't think he's here. I don't think he's in the foreign quarter, I think he's in one of the other cantons. But I'm going to save here, I'll, once I find out where he is, uh, once I remember, I'm sure, we, well, let's have a look at the world map. I'm sure he's in one of the other quarters, can't remember where, but when I do, I'll just head down the sewers and that'll be the next episode.